Good morning you guys and welcome to today's video. We're getting ready for the gym right now and it's going to be a week of workouts. You guys know by now how much I love my gym morning routine. So I got all ready for the day and then I'm now picking a gym outfit, got dressed and I'm going to the kitchen to make my pre-workout. As much as I can do before Vinny wakes up, I try to get done. And what's funny is I mixed my pure pump in with this off camera, but I wasn't allowed to state it because it hasn't been live yet. So of course I'm using my pump as well, but I filmed this before it was live. So I didn't really show any of it or film any of it. Vinny woke up and he wants to go. fill up his own cup of ice. and. He's just so cute. Like watching him be able to learn and develop and be able to go from like a little baby to wanting to play catch every day and also filling up his own water, being able to get dressed himself. It's honestly so fun and rewarding being a mom and he's just the best little kid. That's all you're gonna see of Vinny this week. Just know every morning's pretty much the same. We spend it together and I just really, you guys know, I like to kind of keep him a little bit more private. I'm making us both avocado toast with eggs this morning because that's what we both absolutely love and have pretty much every single morning. So I make mine with sourdough bread and he just has his with multi-grain bread. A lot of multi-grain breads I can't eat because some of them have sunflower seeds, et cetera, in them. So sourdough is always a safe option. And then I have two eggs, he has one eggs, and then we always have berries with it. So this is our staple breakfast that we eat every day, every morning before the gym and to prep us for the day. What's up you guys? Ah! Let's see if I can balance you. <gasps> We did it. Okay, I am so stoked. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to an entire week of workouts. It has been a minute since I've done one of these and I am so ecstatic about it. So, I got my pre-workout here. It's so good. Also love the cups, love the baby straw. We just know that about me by now. So my workout split has changed a little bit. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lowdown of what that's gonna look like for this week. I'm gonna do four lifts this week in a run. I am running the advanced split on my app and running my core program. And because it's summer, I've not ran in so long, but it's just so fun to be outside, to walk, to run. So I've been implementing those as well. So that's what this week is gonna look like. It's gonna be a good week. Let's head inside to the gym and let's get this lift. Loading, loading, strap for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling, and I want to listen, but I told him, told him one more. When it comes to my advanced program in this training split, I have two different lower body days. One is more quad and glute focused and the other is more hamstring and glute focused. So we're starting off with the quad focused leg day where we're gonna be performing squats. And I also love to incorporate an additional warm up that you saw with those banded knees. That is fantastic and really helps warm up my body for squats. So definitely throw those in if you have knee troubles. And when it comes to a squat, a few tips that I have are, it's important to have that good mobility and range of motion. Therefore, when you are squatting, your heels aren't coming up off of the ground. You're not imbalanced, like shifting the weight to one side when you come up out of a squat, out of that pocket. You know, a lot of times you'll like shift more of the weight on your right side, but coming up evenly and you're really striving to hit parallel. Another thing is you don't wanna under tuck your pelvis or arch your back too much. So keeping a nice neutral spine. Tempo also matters, so as you're coming up and down, what does that timing look like? How is everything feeling? And reminding yourself not to rush through your workout. I'm now setting up for front squats. This is the second exercise when it comes to this workout, and I definitely have to decrease the weight. Front squats can be a lot more challenging than back squats because of the placement of the bar. So because the bar is placed at the front of our body, this puts a lot of strain on your core. So a lot of times when you're doing front squats, your core will give out before your legs will give out. Sometimes our mind is a little bit weak. So making sure that we're really checked in, we're focused, and we're going to push through and really put our all into these workouts. But yes, it is normal to go a little bit lighter on your front squats. There are two different positions you can hold the bar. I like to cross my arms and a lot of people like to tuck their elbows and have it in their hands. That's going to be up to you and what feels the most comfortable for your grip. Also, because of the placement of the bar, being at the front of your body, you are targeting your quads a little bit more when it comes to front squats. The third exercise are deficit reverse lunges. I'm using a preloaded barbell. I don't have preloaded straight barbells, so I'm just using an easy bar and that works fine. You can do this with the barbell, you can do this with dumbbells, whatever feels best for you. I'm just using this small deficit of this deadlift platform. And now that I'm looking back, I'm like, come on, Brittany, you could have stacked weights to make an even bigger deficit. I was 100% being lazy in this. So I will stack like those bumper plates behind me to get a little bit more of a deficit when it comes to this exercise. This is great for quads, but also great for glutes. So we're sneaking in a little bit of glute action. Take 
Next up are step ups. Again, this can be quad and glute focused. It kind of depends on the ankle for which you're standing up. It, it works both really great. So for these, again, a unilateral movement, step ups are really hard. And I feel like a key is to focus on not rushing through them and trying not to kick your back leg up too much. You really want to hold that tension and pressure in the leg that is standing up, which is extremely hard. But the slower and the more just kind of tension and time under that tension is great for your legs. My legs are so pumped. And honestly, this was such a struggle, but it also felt really, really good at the same time and rewarding, even though it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I just remember mentally how difficult this whole workout was. I wanted to do a mic'd up, but I was a little bit anxious going into filming today and hitting a first workout back after taking a week off because I was traveling to Miami. So I just wanted to listen to some music and work through this workout, which was extremely difficult for me as the first one back after a while. And the app says to do leg press, but I don't have a leg press machine at my gym. So I substituted them for heel elevated goblet squats, which absolutely destroyed me. These were so challenging, but again, so rewarding. And because of the placement, you are targeting your quads just a little bit more and elevating your heels. So four sets of 10, that was tough. The last exercise are leg extensions and I did four sets of 12 to 15. I honestly don't remember how many I was able to actually muster. Oh, and also if you ever feel embarrassed about not being able to figure out machines, I could not figure this out for the life of me for a while. It's the first time and this is like a two-in-one machine. So it does leg extensions as well as hamstring curls and I couldn't figure it out. So never feel silly trying to figure out your own equipment. But this was the ultimate way to end this quad workout. It was so challenging, but also so rewarding. I feel like that is the theme of this workout today. Mentally, it was really exhausting to go through this, but I'm really proud I was able to do it. I didn't give up and I went through with all of the sets and reps, which was really good for me. So I'm gonna finish up with day one of core. So it's just 10 minutes, which is nice. Five exercises, a 45 on, 15 off, and two rounds. I am not looking forward to this. High plank, knee to elbow. 25 seconds. Let's say I let you call me, baby. Let's say I let you hold my hand. Let's say I let you stay. I let you stay for coffee in the morning. Cause you spent the night right next to me. Oh my gosh, well, that's a wrap on day one. I honestly, I'm feeling, feeling dead. I'm feeling beat. I'm feeling really freaking tired right now. That was really hard. Like, I don't know if it's because I took a week off in Miami. Oh my gosh, I just feel like I'm almost a little frustrated because this is like easy weight and I haven't even been lifting like my normal weight but there's been so many setbacks. I feel like I'm building the gym, so my training routine hasn't been consistent in April or May. The last week I was gone, like I just, it's not been at the peak of my training and I need to like let go of that guilt and say like, oh, that's okay. Like there's different 
times where we can focus solely on training or other times when other things need to take priority. Like I get that, I know that, but still I want to be strong in the gym and I want to be strong in all of my lifts. So I'm like ah, a little bit bummed that it's not where it used to be. I know I will get back there. It's totally okay. But to feel weak after a workout, like, oh, it's just tough. So whew, it was still good. Like I gave it my all, still a super good and effective workout. I did sub heel elevated goblet squats for leg press. I don't have a leg press in my gym. So that ended up working out really good for me. And I'm gonna go home and eat. I am beyond fatigued. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next workout. Hey, uh, as always, I gotta find if the perfect position to prop you up and balance you on, but <gasps> what's, up? what's up, you guys? Okay, welcome to day two of my week of workouts. It's just like the pre-gym car chat. <laughs> and honestly, okay, today's back and biceps, hence the braid. Let me look at my program today, actually. I just am literally using my own program. Sometimes I'm like, why do I not use this? I have written this. Why am I not utilizing this? Like these are pre-written workouts for me. So perfect, six exercises today, super short, simple, sweet, not simple or sweet or short actually. None of the things I just said I lied. So bent over rows, lat pull downs, single arm bent over rows, bicep curls, rear dot flies, hammer curls. This sounds flawless. This sounds amazing. Actually, I'm really excited about today's workout. So that's what we got today. And then we're doing day two of core. So maybe I'll space it out. Like if I'm feeling really tired or if I run out of time, actually, I am a little bit short on time. I'll do core tomorrow instead of today, but feeling really good. Ooh, ooh. It's really fun to work out in my own gym and I'm so happy I have my cable machine now because oh, I love my cables so much. So mm. I also have my pre-workout. This is the sour cherry flavor by Beam. It's so good. All right, that's enough chatting. Let's head into the gym and let's get this lift. After yesterday's workout, I need to foam roll. That'll probably be the first thing I do heading into the gym. Also, my anxiety is still a little bit high. Just getting back to the gym is always so difficult after a break. And I don't know why I've just been a little bit more anxious yesterday and today. And I think after yesterday's really difficult workout, my headspace is definitely not the best. So it's definitely a moody workout. I'm definitely putting in the headphones, trying to zone in. And hopefully later on in this video, we can get a mic'd up session where I can kind of be a little bit more playful. But sometimes gym sessions just need to get done. Sometimes I need to be in my feels. And while I absolutely love to share and record this, sometimes I just like to be in my own vibes and not like have to worry about entertaining and stuff. So setting up the foam rolling, rolling out my legs because they are so sore, having the first week out back. And as always, you guys know how important it is to do warm up. So I'm grabbing a band and I'm just doing up and overs, going through my routine. I feel like nothing is new here at all. And then I'll do banded pull aparts and other upper body day warm ups. <laughs> You don't want to give in Sounds like we're just talking in riddles Five in the morning All we do is fighting Thought you'd come and make it right I need a pause from the battle But I don't think you said You don't want to get it right I will leave it up to you I will leave it up to you Now I'm done and down the line I will leave it up to you I know you think about Every time I'm out And sometimes so it takes things
done and dusted. I'm actually feeling so much better after today's workout. So like yesterday's, okay, yeah. Even the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm a sore. My glutes, my glutey booties are so sore. My hamstrings are a little bit sore. Started with foam rolling, it felt so good. And honestly, it felt pretty strong. I just like, I love back day because I feel like it is the pinnacle, the peak of my physique. Like everything pops, even though like I don't work shoulders directly, like working biceps and back, like I just have such a good pump and physically I, just love checking myself out on back day. Like it makes me feel so good. It's it's a mood booster for me. Back day is my favorite day. Like I love it. I felt great. Juicy pump. Yeah, that was great. I was like, oh my gosh. But dude, when you work so hard for your physique, like you want to look at it. I want to be healthy too. You guys know, you know, you know. But it's just nice to look at the juiciness. So that was fire. Absolute day by day. I left today's workout. It was really good. Like. I'm not gonna lie, going into it, mentally I was a little bit intimidated because yesterday's was so difficult. So I was like, great, upper body, like it's gonna be harder, things are gonna be heavy, but everything felt really good. I was in a really good headspace, like great music, had a great pump, great energy, just good vibes, and I oh I needed that. I am out of time today, so I'm gonna do core tomorrow or the week after or whenever. Like there's only three core workouts I have to do a week, which is great. You can throw them in any time, I can throw them in at home, I can throw them in whatever. So Got that to look forward to. And yeah, with that being said, like that's that's it for today. It just felt really good. My joints feel good. I think I did go a little bit lighter today than I typically would, as, at least for bent over rows. But I think that that really helped me to be able to endure the rest of the workouts, not go super heavy and burn out on bent over rows. And also my joints felt really good today. So that's good. So that's bent over rows, like my elbows. It, that's just a lot of weight at that joint point. So I just, I felt really good today. Really happy. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day three of it. Or maybe tomorrow will be a rest day. Who knows? I'll see you guys for the next workout. Okay, bye. Hello and welcome to day three. It is an active rest day for me. I started off in the sauna and did a good 10 to 15 minutes, got super sweaty, and then walked myself over to the women's only area in my gym and I found a treadmill. I really wanted to start my morning with some movement without having to do a straining workout like with weights and everything so i just wanted to do a nice walk i'm also reading a book right now and it is not often if ever that i just come to the gym for a little walk something really casual and light so this is actually really refreshing early in the morning being able to just kind of have some me time get some movement not have to stress about doing a whole workout just enjoying a nice walk while reading my book it's just not great weather outside or i could just do this outside around my neighborhood but unfortunately i don't live somewhere where that's always accommodating I actually got a little perk of energy after walking for quite some time i wanted to do a quick little jog because it just felt good it felt natural it felt good to me uh, i wanted to move my body this way and so i just went for a little run and it felt really good i think one of the biggest parts of fitness is listening to your body listening to those cues i was going for a walk i really felt like i wanted to run so i did it there's nothing wrong with that and honestly you can think outside of the box you don't always have to have only one type of training you don't have to only just lift weights you can do a wide variety of things whatever feels good for you the run was honestly very short-lived because I went right back to walking and enjoying my book. I just had a quick spurt of energy and really wanted to run. After a nice 20 minute walk slash little bit of run, I decided to go and do core, which is fun because I'm doing one of the core programs on my app. So that was really fun and nice. Here's a little post walky core session. And when it comes to my core workouts, this is the second day of the first week of my core program that's on my app. It just goes 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. So it's really nice. You'll just fill the time with this exercise and then take a little quick 15 second break and move into the next one like a circuit. You're only going to repeat these two times, which I love because it is not too overbearing, but you're making sure you get it done. If it's too daunting or if there's too much to do, for me, it's too intimidating and I might skip it. Whereas I know, oh, I only have to do this twice. I can totally do that and manage that. It is so much more approachable and something that is I'm more willing to throw in to my schedule. So it's only three days a week. I love just having a little bit more emphasis on my core because it is something that I skip and it's something that is so beneficial to anybody and everybody. It is such a fundamental thing that a lot of us skip, especially being postpartum. I'm always trying to restore and focus on that. So 
This is one of those fantastic circuits that was great to throw in on kind of this lighter, more active rest day. I realize I've not done any mic'd stuff yet. A lot of times when I work out, I just love to like be one in my workout, like with my headphones, with my music and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, I haven't done any mic. Let's throw one in. So it is another lower body day. Today is a little bit more emphasized on glutes. So we're doing deadlifts, we're doing hip thrusts, Bulgarian split squats. Ooh, let's check this. Probably like hamstring curls, probably back extensions, honestly knowing myself. <laughs> let's see, what does it say on my app? Wow, I'm so good. And also hip abductions. That's what we've got on for today's workout. I'm starting off with 155 for a deadlift. I just need to get my deadlifts back up. And I know myself, I'd start with like 95, just a 25 on each side or a 45, but I know I can do 155. So I need to start here and just like, Suck it up, not be a baby, you know what I mean? So sometimes mental gains, we gotta just push ourselves. So oh, here we go, I'm gonna put my headphones on. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. I'm so annoyed. Oh, how dare it. It just like knew I was having a good time and decided to ruin it. I'm just your getaway. I'll make you warm if it's chilly and I probably make you say things you wouldn't do normally. I'm like a nine to five job and you work for me. Solid. And sometimes it's nice to use lighter weight because sometimes I swear I feel it so much more like I can get a better burn, a better pump instead of going more for strength. But still, 225 for hip thrust is super light for me. So I'm just gonna sit there, I think, to get higher rep because that's what the program's doing. I need a rest just from racking the weights. Good night. Oh. I'm I'm hurting a little bit today. If this is too easy, I will move up, I promise. Normally I do 40, so I know I'm being a little bit timid, but honestly, the first two exercises have just absolutely wrecked me, so let's see how this works. Music's on, I can't hear a thing, and life is great. <laughs>
isolate it. That feels great. Wow. That's like a machine. I have 10,000 booty bands, but I have bring a single one of them to the gym today. So luckily I have this, which is a kickback ankle thing. I'm really excited. Of course, I'm going to use this latest brand. I'm going to do this with all the I am doing kickbacks for the glutes. Have you ever seen me do these? Never, ever in your life. But today's the first day. It's a one time only special thing. Also, whoever set this up sucks because why is there a loose screen? So, I'm going to do kickbacks. It's been a hot minute since I've done these. So, you've got some criticism. That's okay. Ooh, now look at that. I've got handrails. Um, remind me of like a flat back, slightly out to the side. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I kind of wonder why I don't do more of these. Probably because I'm too embarrassed to do it in the normal gym. Okay, we're doing 10 to 12. Oh my gosh. My dumpy is about to be pumpy. Another day, another workout. It's a great day to lift. We got that lift. I'm gonna oh, pause my music, pause my headphones. Oh, so good. Such a good day. Honestly, everything felt really good. Like I was able to jam, I got a good headspace. Um, I'm just loving the new space in the gym, honestly. Honestly, it was really cool to try the cable kickbacks. I forgot I had this camera, I forgot I had two. So the last two exercises I filmed with my phone and then I'm like, wait, I have another camera. Why did I do that? Anyways, it doesn't matter, but the cable kickbacks were actually kind of fire. Like, I have not done those in forever. I'm always too embarrassed to do them in a public gym. So I was like, hey, 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 let's do it. So that was really cool. And then, yeah, the hamstring curls. Every once in a while, like, you just hit, everything just hits right. Like, that just was so seamless for me. Like, it felt so good. Like, my hamstrings just felt so fire after that. And I love when you can really isolate a muscle, especially in your legs. So. That was fantastic, I just felt good. I am so hungry. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go home and make some waffles because I made Vinny waffles and that sounds really good right now, but I'm also gonna have some ground turkey, some green beans, and some sweet potatoes. That's also what I'm gonna make. Oh, food sounds so good right now. But that was a great workout. We only have one more left. I'm gonna do upper body and see. We gotta do push. Maybe Darian will join me tomorrow. Who knows? And then, I think Saturday I might try to do a run and I gotta finish up core. Ooh. I only have one more core workout though because I went to the gym yesterday and just like walked, did a little run and then did core. So that's what we got for the rest of the week. It's been really fun. I love filming this video. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello and welcome back. Today we're hitting push, which I'm excited about. I just. I just love coming to my gym. Darian's with me today. Hey. You, you, you got the show. That's it, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we really need to finish building out the gym. Like this whole front area is still so ugly, but tomorrow hopefully we'll be able to have some time. It's raining outside. I'm ready to get to it for today's workout. So I'm gonna warm up and I'll dive right in. All right, so I'm doing shoulder just for a sec. I'm doing, uh, I'm being a rebel and I'm starting a shoulder press. I was gonna start with chest press, but I just wanna knock up the shoulders a little bit more. So that's what this is for sex. Knock up those today. shoulders. You got that right. Darian, you're actually in it. Woo! And Darian, we're blasting music, so it's not gonna be mic'd up today. Yeah! Oh 
like I said, I definitely started with shoulder press where this is normally the third exercise in the app, but you know what? I just wanted to do it. I wanted to see where I was at on this. It's one of my focus points. Like I love to be able to shoulder press really heavy. So I started with 25s. I think I moved up to 35s and I believe these are 40s. So I'm just moving up in weight and I made it all the way up to 45s. <laughs> Also, I love Darian, his little core exercises. This was a really fun workout. Like we just do not get a workout often together and he just makes everything so much more fun. So we're just pumping out our upper body, getting after it and uh, having a good time. Next up, I'm moving into chest press, so flat bench. We're doing four sets of eight for these. I do not remember what weight. I like the weights where it tells you on the outside so you can just see, but normally my rep range is anywhere between 35 to 45 for these so i'm probably using one of those trying to hit eight and yeah getting after it let's go <laughs> Next up is incline press, four sets of eight again, and still about the same weight. Anywhere between 35 pounds to 45 pounds is kind of my weight that I'm at right now for about eight reps. You guys, I wish so badly YouTube did not copyright music because I wish you could hear the audio of this full thing. Darian is very into rock. That's kind of why I placed a rock song in here to kind of get the vibes. He, the, We're listening to Burial Plot by Dayseeker and this is Darian and his brother's song. So it's like very nostalgic and he always felt it at the top of his lungs. Darian is screaming this song. I cannot stop laughing and honestly, I had to join in for it too. Maybe I'll post this on TikTok, but this is just like immaculate vibes. This is just like the life I've always wanted to live. So this was so funny. We can't help but sing and both scream this song at the top of our lungs. I'm just so glad I got this moment on camera and I'm trying to lateral raise 15s right here and Darian keeps singing and making me laugh and I'm like bro I can't even take this seriously I'm laughing so hard but four lateral raises so I'm doing four sets of 12 and with the 15s I can't always hit 12 so I'm trying my best to hit 10 to 12 with them but I am dropping down weight and doing like a drop set with them as well which is really fun and honestly I don't know how many reps or sets I really did because we were just laughing so hard at this whole situation the whole time so we're just having some good time good fun it's all fun and gains in the gym. <laughs> Listen to the podcast every Wednesday. Last but not least, our tricep pull downs. So for tricep pull downs, anything tricep, you want to keep your elbows in super tight and close to your body. That way you're hopefully just isolating that tricep. So for these, I just have a straight bar and I'm just pulling down, flexing my tricep at the end. And I'm doing four sets of 12. And it's so fun to use this new cable machine. It was a saucy upper body day and a fun one, to be honest. And that concludes today. It was a really good workout. Today was short. I always forget how quick upper body days are compared to lower body day. Like lower body is a solid hour, hour 15. Uh, so that's an hour 30 if I'm really struggling. Darian also put in some work. <laughs> uh, she's like, it was short. It was easy. Mine, yeah, it was a lot easier than leg days. Like leg days are so difficult. So it felt really good. And honestly, I'm so proud. I hit all of my workouts and so proud I filmed. Like I'm feeling so good. I swear every time you follow up with yourself and you follow through with what you say you're gonna do, your confidence just exceeds. And it's cool to see how at the beginning of the week I was like, oh, this is the worst workout, like blah, blah, blah. And now I'm like feeling so good. Hey, Britt, back at it and strong. Did but. you mention something? Like a little something something that might happen. A gym shark sale? Possibly July something. No. It was so fun. Thanks for working out with me. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to wake up, go for a run, and finish the last day of core. And we have successfully done it. But love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Wait, no, I won't because I'm closing it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, you guys. So going for a run today. I got my AirPods in and then the running belt. Okay, here's the running belt. My little like phone charms hanging out. I forgot to say for shoes. For shoes, I'm gonna wear these Hoka's. I have like a white pair of Bondi's and then I also have this pair that's more for like running and outdoorsy because the all white pair, like I don't wanna get them dirty. They're my gym Hoka. So these are the like outdoor Hoka's. So that's what I wear. And I've heard like people like the Clifton's, I got the Bondi's. So I'm like, next time I need a pair of gym shoes or a pair of Hoka's, I'm gonna try the Clifton's because people love them. And I just have the Bondi 7 or Bondi 8s, but I like the Bondi's too. They just have like a wider toe box. Darian hates these shoes so much. He's like, they're so wide. But I think they're a cute, chunky sneaker, you know? 
He thinks they look like nursing shoes, which they kind of do. Ta-da! So here's the full running gym fit. Hey, Benny. You got your avocado toast? 